you know, we struggled. I didn't want to struggle, and I wanted to have, I didn't want my kids to be a part of, I didn't, I had a, I grew up with a brother. It was just the two of us and my mom, and I didn't want to recreate that single parent struggling, you know. What I find very interesting, boss lady, is that as opposed to going for what you want, you went for what you didn't want. I don't want this, so I'm gonna do that. I don't want this. Are you clear about that? Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay, because so often as women, we do that. Mm -hmm. My mother and my grandmother were both single. Your grandmother too? Yes. And now you too? Mm-hmm. They couldn't have always been single because they had babies, so they had to have somebody at some point. Well, my grandmother was married twice, but she, was a, she worked all the time. She was a boss lady, too. And she decided that men were inconvenience for her. And then your mom? My mom had other issues that kept her from, I think she had a lot of internal pain that got passed down to me. Well, you know that. <laughs> um, let me see your card. Isn't it hustler? Mm. Mm. Hustle keeps your intuition because your hustle in the face of the people you love is, I'll take care of it, it's okay. I've done that my whole life. What? Protected my parents from the truth. My mom, I just didn't want to hurt her. And I felt that at a really young age because of what I might have seen up until the point of me being able to remember and I just always protected what she knew and what she didn't know. Uh -huh. I can relate to that. I, did, I, was, I didn't want my mom, I feel like I had to protect my mom. From what? She had things that happened to her. And? That she shared with me when I was little. So I just saw myself as her protector and then I had a brother that got in trouble, so I had to be the one that was perfect. We all have issues with our mama. I've always been totally opposite. Like, I, I never felt the need to protect her from anything. Me too, we're the same. I can't even have a conversation without my mom feeling like her feelings are getting hurt. So I've just kind of mastered how to, you know, get things across. Would you be surprised to know this is not about your mother. This is about behavior. That your mother is running a racket and hustling you. Mm. Or people set it up so that you won't tell them the truth. Mm. That's her hustle. Yeah. That's how she stays safe. That's how she keeps herself safe. I have never in my life been with a man who makes more money than I do. Ever. Ever. Because I'm not with a man because of what he can do for me. I'm with a man because of who I am and who he is and how that integrates. Let's talk about being with men and how you treat men who don't make as much money as you do. I don't even date him. I don't know what that. It's, it's not, not the money, because I was going to say, I've me. been with a man that made more than me, and I still was verbally <laughs> abusive. Yeah. yeah. I just, I think the more that I hear you talk, the more that I hear you kind of defend things instead of just admitting to it. Mm -hmm. Or you try to sugarcoat it instead of saying. Owning. Owning. Own your Own stuff. stuff. I was just saying both ways, whether you have it or you don't, yeah. it's still, it didn't, it didn't really change the fact if I was gonna be myself or not. Like, you got the money, if I feel like I have something to say, I'ma still say it. And if you don't got the money, I'ma still say what I have to say yeah, if I have something. Yeah, but when you don't have the money and you say it, do you put that caveat on the end? Broke! Do you put that on the end? Or you ain't get, you can't... I mean, but, okay, so look, if you do have the money, I'ma still put that extra on it. It's an issue for me because I, I, that's a big part of of my personal goals, and I feel like... What's a big part of your personal being goal? Being in a financially set place. And what does that have to do with him? But he can't give me advice if, if we're not... I feel like we're not equally yoked. Just because a person is defective does not mean they cannot see your defects. Just because mm. you think mm. somebody is defective doesn't mean they cannot see your defects. 
He's speaking it. Because you're crying for the four-year-old, but for all of those other parts of you that were, that were violated, you're crying their tears, you're carrying their shame, their guilt, their rage. And we have to create sacred, secret places where we can speak it. Because your pain needs a witness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What is that? What is that? Why do you start at no? Look at me. Why do you start here? Start here. Do you need like... the heart? Do you need the heart? Yeah. So just put your hand here. <clears throat> yeah. I really want to support you in healing your mother wound. Good luck. <laughs> that one runs deep. For her, not for you. Yeah, like I don't even talk to my mother. Why? Because she's me. She's, she's what? She's exactly me. So that's why I really want to support you and not disowning a part of yourself. Sheesh. <laughs> I want to disown it. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want it. But I just, you know, I never made that correlation. So what I was thinking about is how do I hold on to my faith? Because that is a big part of who I am. But let go of the fear that's attached to falling, sh you know, just being human. I had to let go of religion mm -hmm. and find a relationship. Yeah. And it was quite scary because I was raised thinking that I was going to hell. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said, okay, if I'm going to hell, I want to look good. And I went and got my <laughs> hell dress. And I was ready to go. I'm going. But I did not want to live the rest of my life being afraid of God mm -hmm. yeah. and doing things because I was afraid of what would happen if I didn't do them. Mm -hmm. it took me 12 years to really build a relationship with God, mm -hmm. the God of my understanding. Mm -hmm as a Native American African woman. Mm -hmm. Very different. Ask me how I know. Yeah? <sighs> so, we want to thank her, but we also want to let her go. Your work going forward is about being mindful of how she did what she did, and when you catch yourself, you make a choice in the moment to do something different. And sometimes you might have to say it out like, oh, wait a minute, hold up, I ain't doing that. <laughs> let, me, let me regroup. People are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm gonna be like, no, Marcia. Yeah, that's right. No, don't come out, Marcia. They're gonna be like, who is she talking to? <laughs> let me tell you what I used to do out loud. Ronnie, sit your ass down. Go <laughs> I did, I would have to talk to her because she was so busy protecting me, mm -hmm. you know. The deeper our wounds, the more control we've given her. Mm -hmm. The deeper the wound. Y'all ever been to the Build-A-Bear workshop at the mall? Yes. <laughs> so this, the good yeah. news is this time, we are gonna build ourselves a woman, <laughs> okay? I want you to get on here, and then I want Miss Tracy to draw you. <laughs> Just outline her. And you come here, oh. you outline the baby. The question is, what is a woman? I want you to just take some time, really take some time and put it in your silhouette there. We writing? Yeah, you're writing on there. What is a woman? Everything that you want her to have and be and as you move forward, okay? What is a woman? Mm. What is a woman? Energy, forgiving, resilient, spiritual, nurturing. You know what I find very interesting? None of y'all as women are standing on anything. What are y'all standing on? Look, look, what, what are you standing on? What are you standing for? What are you standing with? Bertha, Marcia, Janet, and Des. They all had roots in your childhood. Hmm. They all had roots in your pain. Where are your roots now? What's gonna guide you and govern you now? Because you're going back with a new awareness. 
And unless you rooted and anchored in something new, something that'll sustain you, you're gonna be wishing you was back here three months from now. I wanna elevate your energy from that. So you have something different to stay grounded in. Make sense? Yes. Tell me your fear about going home, going back out there. Tell me your concern, your fear. Let's deal with that. Doing the same Doing thing. the same thing. <laughs> now? Taking days with me. <laughs> <laughs> Any concerns for you going same, home? Same, reverting back and, and Marcia coming out full force, <laughs> fighting me on everything again. Yeah. Because I've, you know, Marcy's been with me for 41 years. And I think she might fight to come. She will. To be she the leader will. again. Yeah, but don't fight her back. Love her. Love her. Yeah. Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> <laughs> when Ronnie shows up, I say, I got this. Mm -hmm. So you got to know what sets you off mm -hmm. and how to manage it, OK?